Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? Happy Monday, and welcome back to another video. So, today, I thought I would sort of continue the series that I've been doing on the how-to uh, series on how to make certain beats that sound like specific songs. And today, in honor of the release of Lyrical Lemonade's album, All Is Yellow, shout out the hat, check the merch, check the merch, I thought that I would make a beat like Doomsday Part 2 with Eminem. So in case you haven't had a chance to listen to it, the track before Doomsday Part 2 is Doomsday Part 1 with Corday and Juice World. And what ends up happening is the song, it's like kind of like an old school Eminem style beat. And then when Part 2 comes in, it actually ends up flipping the original sample and doing like this really, really cool halftime feel. So I'm going to play just a quick snippet of the beat just so you can kind of hear what I'm shooting for. And then uh, we'll get into the cook up. So let's take a listen. So for the melody for something like this, where it's just this really hard kind of halftime trap feel, usually the chords that are used are like these suspension chords. So let me just lay this piano down and that'll kind of get us started. Okay, so I like how that's turning out. So now what I'm gonna do is just render this out as an audio clip, just because it's gonna be easier for me to work with. I'm hearing a little bit of a underlying piano melody that's going at twice the speed of this. And I think the way that I wanna do that is by just putting this into Fruity Slicer. Let's see, if I render this out as an audio clip, and then maybe I can like pull this up an octave and see how that sounds. Maybe in a different key. Yeah, I, I mean, I like it there because I, I don't necessarily want it to be too much too in your face. Um, but I do like that it has a little bit of like a rhythm, a rhythmic element to it. I spelled gated, gated. Now, uh, I want to add some strings. So I'm just going to start here with a couple of little stabs and then we'll kind of build it out from there. Wow. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, so what I want to do now is go back into the BBC thing and maybe add like a viola or something.
just gonna throw a little bit of a delay on these vi uh, violas and violins. Maybe, maybe some guitar? Okay, great. So I have that guitar doubled. I think what I'm going to do for the intro is maybe just do like a little bit of a solo guitar thing. Maybe I'll just put space light on here. Let's see how that sounds. Because I want it to be kind of spacey and sort of in the background. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is record a little bit of a solo and then have do a bend right at the right at the end of the pattern and then have it bend down onto the root note when the drums drop in. <laughs> So I'm just going to lay this little part down and just see see how this comes out. Okay, I think I can do that. I kind of have like the bounce in my head already. So I'm I'm just going to mute the melodies and kind of just sing out the bounce that I have in my head so that way I, it, I don't get like confused by what the melody's doing and then I can make changes as I need to. This is a lot of what the process is, you know? It's just singing the part. Don't be afraid to beatbox, even if you suck, because I'm not good at it either. But it helps me figure out what I'm trying to do. like a little roll. Mm. Ooh. And turn the velocities up all the way. Let's see how that's working with the piano. That's okay. I'm not a huge fan of the snare. Maybe I'll layer it with a clap. Ooh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I want right there, baby. pattern a little bit for the second time around. on the second time around.
Okay, so now that we have our drums, let's move on to the arrangement. I'll definitely have this because this is going to be the solo guitar part. So then this will be with the drop. This will be in the beginning as well. And no drums until here. Duplicate that over and then bring these guitars in here. I'll probably drop that and maybe drop Maybe I'll drop the kick here. And I got to process these a little bit. Do that. We'll bring this back over. Dude, I don't understand why my snap is like this. What is happening? And then we'll have that going. And then we'll probably break back out into this here. I guess I'm sort of structuring it like a hook chorus type thing, which it could be done that way, but I don't know if I want. I don't know. We'll see. But probably for this section, I'll take the, uh, the cello part out and just have the strings. Just to provide space for whatever artist would be on this to really go crazy. And then we'll probably just bring back this solo part and just have it come in here. Cool. All right. And then I'm just going to add a little riser. this little impact here I'm just gonna put my tag in there Yo, JD. shout out my man love Andreas for recording this for me dude's a freaking legend Yo, JD. and he tempo synced it bro what a legend all right so, now that we have our arrangement finished, here's the final beat. Yo, JD. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what you thought about this beat and if you like this kind of tutorial. I really enjoy listening to specific songs and trying to show you guys just sort of how I pull inspiration from those songs and then turn them into my own compositions. If you like this beat and if you like this video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Doing all those things allows me to be able to put out this awesome content and to continue uh, to share my music with you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching and for joining me on your Monday, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.